Uh, hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, how to perform a CDS, how to create a CDS view with a where condition. So it's basically the same step as we what we have done earlier. We are going to create a CDS view, and the only thing is that at the end of this thing, you're going to put a where condition, and you're going to specify what is the condition that you wanted to specify. So let's go and uh, create a simple view. So we already know how to create a view, so I'll just directly go ahead and create it. CSK underscore CDS underscore where class. And I click on next, next, and finish. So I'll just give this view name as W1. And here I'm just going to represent as select data from source. SNWD underscore SO as header. So I'm just going to give only one field over here. So I'm just going to say header dot sales order ID as ID. And I'm going to say header dot whatever is the field thing that I wanted to specify. Let's say, for example, uh, currency code and header dot. I'm going to say lifecycle status and so on. So I've just created a simple view wherein I'm just only putting uh, one table and from the table I have just projected some of the fields here to specify the where condition I'll just put a where keyword and I will just specify the condition. So I wanted this header dot. So if you wanted this help you have to press control plus space and this will give you this help and here I'm just going to specify what is the value that I wanted to check for. So I only wanted where the value is n. I do not wanted to have other fields where the value is not. Sorry, I only wanted to display the view content where the lifecycle status is n. I do not want it for other status. So I'll just make a check. Uh, it doesn't have any error. So I'll just activate it. And here you can see that the view has been created. I'll just open it. And here you can see that if you go to the select condition, you will be able to see whatever is the select condition that I have specified over here. Suppose if I wanted to specify multiple condition, I can just simply say that and whatever is the other condition that I wanted to specify. Like say for example, header dot lifecycle status is equal to P. I wanted this as well. So if I activate it, just <coughs> open it again. So now if you go to the select condition, you will be able to see like whether whatever is the and or out condition that you have specified that will be represented over here. And you can also check the data as well. So notable entries found for specified key. It's given n and p, which is my lifecycle status. Okay, I just uh, made a minor modification. Since I have given and condition over here for the same field, it expect that the field to have both the values of n and p as well, which is not possible to have two status. So I just specified an or condition over here so that the lifecycle status can either be n or it can be either p. So I'll just activate this, and after activating, I'm just opening this view and here you can see that now the condition has been changed to or and if i execute this one now you could see that the data has been displayed because i have given an or condition either n or p will be displayed now so that's uh, quite simple about a join condition and in the next tutorial we will see some of the built-in functions which are available in our uh, cds view which will help us do the programming or and then we will also see other uh, concepts as well. Thank you.